really hope this works. So that looks good. Um, basically this is just like a test setup thing. Patrick, I'm sorry that I stole your lamp. It's just a, it's a good one. It's a good one. I like the lights. My LED lights are falling over there. You probably can't see it because it's set up in such a way that the camera is over here and over here. Maybe you'll be able to see. I don't, I don't even know what you're seeing right now. You're seeing a messy room. Gotta clean my room. Channel name is changing. That's, that's one of the major things. Uh, but yeah, I finished my first semester at FGCU. Um, second semester already started. I'm almost done with my week. My week ends Thursdays, which is awesome. I have a three-day weekend every weekend. But yeah, everything has been going very... can't say everything is going very well, but uh, for school. For school, everything has been going very well. I have homework to do before tomorrow, but that's fine. Love all of my classes, all of my professors, and you know, this is basically going to be a video uh, reviewing my first semester at FGCU and kind of like a channelish update, but name changing and different stuff. But you know, you'll yeah, you'll you'll see. I, I, there's going to be a lot of different setups that we're going to go through. I'm going to have to eventually get my own lamp. Number one. Number two, the lamp is in the shot. I gotta move that, you know, to the other side, which is easy, but like I have stuff there right now and I'm just kind of lazy and I don't really care. And I know you guys don't care. Also, this microphone isn't even set up. You're not even listening to this microphone at all, which is kind of weird. Cause I just tested it on that and it, it, everything is so weird right now. But this is our first go at like this this setup. Um, I love the, the, the light and then the light up there. Um, I don't think I could see the LEDs when I just looked at the first, you know, take, whatever, our first part of the video, yeah. Anyways, you're you're here for one thing. You're here because of uh, an FGCU review, because you might be going there and whatnot, and this is just a first semester kind of recap video. I'm also gonna be doing a video soon, like uh, things that you need to bring, like necessities that you might forget and other cool stuff. One of them being, this is a 10, this is a 10 foot long charger, which means this can practically, I don't know where the shot ends. I'm pretty, pretty sure it ends about right about smid, smidgen this over here. I don't even know what I'm saying, but it goes like literally to the corners of my room. Not, not as if somebody would sit over there by my laundry and stuff, but it's an amazing setup. I love everything I got going right here. <laughs> my phone, um, I'm getting a, like a stand and um, something to hold my phone, like a Mayphoto thing. I don't even know how to pronounce the company's name, but I'm excited to get that. I, I don't even know if I'll use it, but now I have this like painting thing working out really well. When I moved from the third floor to the first floor, um, ugh, the Eiffel Tower is over there, but um, this, is, this, is a, this is a bridge. You should know which one it is. And then there's another Eiffel Tower that the phone's sitting on, but it's more of like a artsy picture, you know? It's mostly black and white, but there's a red umbrella. It's it's cute. It's not on my wall because I'm, I'm too lazy. When I took it off my wall, holy shit, the command strips just ripped, ripped the paint right off. You know, maybe the paint's better down here and it won't rip it off so, so badly. First semester FGC review. Okay, let's get started. Freshman year and sophomore year of high school, for me, were like worst two years of school I've ever had. That's grade wise, every everything under the sun I can think of. But junior year is when I really started to care about school. I guess it was kind of like the, you know, you're about to go to college thing and I should probably start trying. That's what got me um, going junior year, I think. But it also was, you know, better teachers. I had a teacher from freshman year, again in junior year. So I kind of wanted to like, more of like a self thing. I was like, I want to prove to you that I'm not so stupid. Even though I am that stupid. I just wanted to, you know, kind of, I don't know. I ended up leaving halfway throughout the year, which worked out my favor because my favorite teacher I have ever had and ever will have was who replaced him. 
and I had him the last half of junior year, and then I had him all of senior year. Senior year, I had him for like four different classes. I had him for an ELO, which is an extended learning opportunity, and basically I wrote a novel during that period because he got me really, really into English, which is what he taught and now I'm majoring in journalism. So that's kind of like my background of school. So like I, I really, really sucked in high school and then I really rocked it, like the last half. And so I've, I've been at both ends of the spectrum of being really good and really bad at school. And so I was very afraid that I was gonna like slip up again because um, I just got it like junior year, I was figuring things out. Senior year is when I really like nailed it on the head and I, I got it down. So I was really worried I was gonna mess that up in college and luckily I didn't. So I'm gonna give you guys my first semester breakdown thingy of FGCU. So the first thing, I'm gonna share with you guys another channel that me and my friends have called Matt and Friends. We only made three videos, or three, two, I don't know. But it kind of gives you a feel of the campus because it kind of brings you around. If you guys wanna go check that out, link will be in the description for that. The campus is, you know, undeniably beautiful. I love everything about this campus. I'm from New Hampshire and if you're watching this video, I'm guessing that you know FGCU stands for Florida Gulf Coast University. So I'm in Florida now. I'm 1400 miles away from home, way out of my element, but this is the best college for me by far. I haven't had a bad experience with a teacher, but you know, that will happen everywhere. There's going to be professors that people don't like. Luckily, I didn't get any of those. I've been very, very avid on rate my professor, uh, looking up everything and looking up classes that I really need and that get like most of, that get like the most bang for the buck because I'm paying out of state tuition, but mainly, um, you know, knocks out most things. Like if I need a humanities and an English and like other sorts of uh, credits that you're going to need throughout college, but like right now I'm trying to tackle most of the preliminary stuff for my major and just getting gen eds out of the way. I have luckily got like after this year, I'm like 33% done. I haven't taken too many really hard classes so far. I mean, I would say they are tough because there's a lot of people that haven't passed with A's or B's, including a lot of friends that I've made, but you'll just learn in college, even even when you're spending a lot of money, people just don't care like you think they would. As, lo as long as you care, you will you will do well. So I did study sessions with friends. I studied by myself, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say like I studied all, all, all the time. And even that I studied as much as I should have, I should have studied more this semester. I hope I will, probably won't, but I, I hope I will. It's been a great experience so far. The first semester I had at FGCU was absolutely amazing. Uh, like I've said, I'm a journalism major, which means that I'm gonna be taking a lot of English classes and other stuff. I cannot speak on behalf of, you know, like health and sciences and mathematics and stuff like that. I have had one math course. I passed with over a hundred in that class. I'm not even that good at math. So that just tells you that there are professors out there. There's professors at this school that are willing to help you and that, you know, if you if you give the effort forward, they'll see that and you'll see that by your own grades. But I've just, I've loved my first semester. My first semester, I took some classes to kind of get a feel for what I want. Um, I'm taking journalism, but I haven't really figured out where my main focus is. Uh, so I took a theater class because maybe I wanted to be a journalism uh, major with like a minor in theater and kind of like work towards um, you know, writing about theater and stuff. I've grown up and I've loved theater from just, you know, a young age, but I never thought myself like being actually in it, but maybe journalism would be like a way to kind of get in there. So I didn't know, I took a theater class, I took um, applied to theater, one of the best choices I've ever made. I got a lot of community service out of the way and also at the same time just met new people and had a lot of fun in that class and learned so much about theater that I had no idea existed. Just applying theater throughout the world and um, applying it yourself. I went to a Quality Life Center and basically worked with kids, building a reader's theater there so that I was a part of it, but also so that when me and my partners were like gone, they still had that in place. Um, absolutely, absolutely incredible just being able to work with such a place. When I went to the Quality Life Center, um, they told us all about like their history there and what I found out was that it was like a rundown bar, uh, like nightclub situation, which you can kind of tell by the layout, but um, they did a great job of having like classrooms with little kids. And that was great going there and working there. I, I don't have a car, but uh, luckily the class that I was taking, a 
applied theater as an upper level class. And so I could take it because I had some uh, college dual enrollment credits that I could bring from high school, which they also, not only did they take those credits, they took the grades. And so if you're taking dual enrollment before you come here, do well, because they might just, just take your grades like they did mine. And I got perfect grades in those classes. So I started college with a 4.0. So that was the extra reason that I tried, you know, harder to make sure that I kept uh, my good grades and I just wanted to get good grades because I was way far away from home. I mean, I have nobody down here kind of like near me at all. And growing up, my, my family has always made fun of the fact that like, I'm not the kid who like cooks themselves food and like makes sandwiches for themselves. I was the kid who like, I, I played video games. Like this is my YouTube channel. I, I started it playing video games like four years ago and I've been doing that ever since. And I've had channels that have had success. I've had channels I haven't, but I don't regret all that time, but it's just a lot of it has been me growing up and having my parents joke about like how I'm not going to be able to live on my own. And then I kind of proved it by moving 1400 miles away from home and uh, being completely alone and just figuring stuff out. So if you're coming from far away, FGCU is amazing at um, bringing people together. They have so many events that you're bound to meet somebody if you just put yourself out there. Uh, I think the first week and a half of school, there was something going on every day, probably something every morning, every night, which is kind of bad because some of them were like at nine o'clock in the morning. And believe it or not, you might think you can take a nine o'clock class and stuff, but you're, you're gonna find out you cannot, <laughs> unless you know yourself or whatever. I had a 7.30 class, so obviously saying the nine thing kind of sounds hypocritical, but for most people, I started that class with about 20 people. I think probably only 10 passed that class just because people didn't go. It was an incredibly easy class for my uh, creative writing class, which was at 7.30. I'm taking that professor again this semester because I love them so much, but just so many people didn't go that they just started failing. I also did that. Uh, I didn't show up to school for a whole month for that one class at 7.30 in the morning, which luckily, he didn't put in grades, but also not luckily because I didn't go because there was just no grades, so I couldn't see a bad grade. So I just lied to myself that I was doing fine, which I obviously wasn't. Finally, the grades were put in and I had so, just F, 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 and had a 19.6 in the class. And I was like, I need to go to school. <laughs> so even though I had a relationship thing going, I wouldn't go to sleep until like two or 4 a.m. the earliest, it was, very, very hard to do a class early in the morning. So I would just say, watch that. Make sure you go to an early orientation. Just make sure you keep track of grades. Always check due dates and that's about it. And you'll do well. To sum up FGCU, my first month experience, uh, my first two months, three months, and now, now it's a new semester. I have loved it since day one. I never have I felt not welcomed or not at home. And I'm 1400 miles, I'm 1400 miles away from home and I still feel like I'm at home. Cause this, this is my home now. I, I hated going home for Christmas break because I was going to the cold New Hampshire instead of Florida. And I mean, Florida is getting cold, but it's, it's nothing compared to the North, but I, I love it here. I, I love everything about it. I love, all of the experiences I've had, all the people I've met, and um, this semester, I only have one new class to go, which is tomorrow, Thursday, the end of my week. The first semester, I wouldn't do anything different. I wouldn't pick any other new classes. I wouldn't change anything. I mean, sure, one of my classes sucked because it was, I had a three hour lecture and then a three hour lab. Totally sucked. That, that, that sucked, but it was manageable. I tried, so, it was easy enough to get an A just for giving the uh, effort forward, but you'll find out. Please do not become one of the people that just do not care. It's easy, it's easy to do well. I love it here. So that's, I guess, my horrible review of FGCU. I just wanted to make a video for you guys. And, um, and yeah, so the YouTube name is changed at the bottom, so that's gonna be a little bit weird because you're subscribed to somebody that like has a different name now than what you subscribe to and also the content and so many different things, but I'm having so much fun in college. I hope you stay subscribed, I hope you like the video, and if you're not subscribed, you can hit that button down below. Um, I'm hoping to do one of my next videos, a room tour, because I gotta clean this and that will be a reason to clean it. 
and also I did one before, but now I got a cooler setup, so I'd like to do one again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I stuttered a lot, messed up a lot talking, but that's fine. See you guys in the next video. Peace.